Now let's take a look at some system-wide preferences as well as interface settings. Go into the settings by tapping on the gear icon in the bottom right corner and then tap on preferences. From here, you have your new project default settings. So if you are regularly creating projects at a different frame rate or aspect ratio, you can define that here. And then you have your number of project backups to keep. LumaFusion is constantly keeping backups of your project, and it's not backups of all the media, just backups of the metadata and the project itself. This is very helpful in the event that you accidentally delete something or you've made some changes but want to go back to an earlier version, you can back those up here and you can choose how many you want to back up. The next settings are about the user interface. The first one, clip style, is pretty important. You have three choices, normal, no icon, and no waveform. Normal is what we're looking at now. So if you look at my timeline here, you'll see that every clip is represented by an icon that represents the video that's in there, and all the audio has a waveform on it. And if I pinch into some of the clips in here as well, you'll see that once we get past the thumbnail view of it, that you do see the waveform of the audio on that video clip as well. However, if you find the thumbnails distracting, you can go into the preferences and set the clip style to no icon. And as you can see now, the icons are gone and all we see are the waveforms. You can even go for no waveform where you only see the clip icon, but no waveforms at all. Personally, I think that normal works out just great because it allows me to see the clips when I'm zoomed out. And as I zoom in, I can see some details of the audio that's on them as well. The next setting is this visual interface called show touches. You'll notice whenever I'm touching the screen that this blue icon is showing up. That is added in there specifically for the purposes of training or doing demonstrations. So unless you're training or doing a demo on the app, you probably aren't going to need this. But if you ever want to show the touches, that's how you turn it on. By turning it off, now as I'm touching the screen, you no longer see where my finger is touching. If I turn it back on, then the touches come back. The last one is another important one, and this is called reverse frame step gestures. I'll go ahead and leave it off for now and navigate to a specific clip on the timeline so I can show this easily. Here's a shot of a bird jumping off of a perch. And if I want to scroll back and forth on that, of course, I just tap on the timeline and I drag my finger back and forth to play through it. If I want to go frame by frame on the clip itself, I can swipe on the clip just the same direction that I was swiping on the timeline to advance forward one frame at a time or backwards one frame at a time. And this is wholly logical because you are swiping the same direction that you were when you're swiping on the timeline. However, it might seem more logical to swipe in the direction that the clip is advancing. Let me show you what I mean. If I go back into the preferences here and I change that to reverse the gesture, now I'm swiping back to go back or swiping forward to go forward. But of course, that is now the opposite of what I would do on the timeline itself. So it's really up to you. Personally, I find that the reversed makes more sense, but it's just like the scroll wheel on the mouse. Is it natural direction or the other direction. It's completely personal and up to you. The rest of the settings in here, what we'll find under advanced and then cleanup and help, will all be covered in another video in a later chapter. If you want to know more about the advanced settings of the app, then go ahead and skip to that chapter towards the end now and then come back to here. But at this point, you certainly know enough to keep editing. Also, if you're curious about the ducking preferences, that's another series of settings that we'll be covering in a future video.